So for this video we're going to check out the three drum pitches to help build more musicality, dialogue and melody within the circle. We're going to check out three simple hand drum rhythms to increase dialogue between participants in the circle at two different tempos, so nice and slow, just to help build your confidence, and then a little bit quicker, and it will be a play along song as well at a faster tempo. We're gonna put these three rhythms together and notice how they dialogue beautifully. Plus I'm gonna add the shaker and the bell. I'm Peter Minter from Positive Music, here to help you grow your rhythm skills, build musical confidence, and inspire well-being through the power of music. Now, if you haven't already downloaded my free djembe drumming ebook, I'll leave a link under here. Seven easy steps to develop rhythm, timing, technique, and feel. Positivemusic.com.au forward slash free djembe drumming. Now let's go and check it out. Okay, so for this segment, we're going to check out the three pitch drums. So from the low pitch, medium pitch and high pitch. And when we bring in these three different timbre drum sounds, we're actually increasing more musicality, offering more scope for dialogue and rhythmical melody. So it helps deepen our musical experience within the drum circle. So each pitch drum has a role to play. So for example, the low pitch drum, and the low pitch drum helps represent uh, the foundation of the music. So if you can imagine a, a house being built concrete, you need a steady ground to build a house. That's where the low pitch drums come into it. So the low pitch drum is referred in the drum circle as the grandmother drum. And of course, the grandmother uh, drum represents wisdom, knowledge, leadership, support, caring, nurturing. So each pitch drum has a role to play. So the medium pitch drum helps connect the low pitch rhythms of the low drums to the high pitch rhythms of the high drums. And the high pitch drums, well, they get to have a little bit of fun where they can get to solo over the top of all the beautiful low pitch and medium pitch rhythms. So as you can see that every drum pitch has their own character in itself, their own role to play. This is all subconscious as well. So the next time you choose a drum, have a listen to the drum. Is it a low pitch, medium pitch or a high pitch drum? What we choose to express ourself gives you a really good indication of the type of personality that you are. So for this segment, we're going to look at three simple rhythms on the hand drums. And I want you to notice how beautifully they dialogue with one another. So I'm going to show you individual, uh, so each drum, and then we're going to put it all together. Now to support the rhythms, I'm going to play a low pitch drum using the West African Dun, Sangban and Kenkeni. So as I mentioned in the first segment about drum pitch, you can have a variety of drum pitches. For example, I'm using two medium drum uh, pitch sounds and one high uh, pitch drum sound. Now the two medium pitch sounds, they're very different in timbre but they also dialogue beautifully. You can actually hear the notes separate and that's what we really want. We want to be able to hear the dialogue between uh, all, the, all the drums. So it'd be really boring if we had just one kind of drum uh, because you wouldn't be able to hear the rhythmical dialogue that's happening. So we want different tampa drums. That's why the drum circle is so important. Universal rhythms and universal drums, they help represent a community. We're all so unique and different. And each drum represents your voice within the circle. So that's why it's really important to have a variety of drum pitches and tambas. So I'm going to be using the medium pitch conga for the first simple rhythm. And the second rhythm I'm going to be using, I'm going to be playing the djembe, and which is classed in the medium pitch as well. 
and also the high pitched drum. I'm going to be playing the small conga. And as I mentioned before, just notice the beautiful dialogue that can happen between just these beautiful simple rhythms. So let's look at rhythm one. We're using basses and tones. Okay, so for the medium pitch drum, really simple. Our right hand's going to be playing in the middle of the drum and our left hand's going to be playing on the edge of the drum. So when we're playing the middle, we're playing with our arms nice and straight, fingers are nice and close together. And remember that, imagine that our this part of the hand is just like a mallet. So the stick and the fluffy part that plays the drum is our hand. And remember that as soon as you play the drum, allow your hand to naturally rebound off the drum. So imagine that this is like a trampoline and your hands are like children naturally just rebound. Okay, so the hand pattern is right, left, right, right, left, right, left, right, right, left. And we're playing bass, tone, bass, bass, tone, bass, tone, bass, bass, tone. So playing the tone, your third or first knuckles are coming to the edge of the drum. This is a tone, this is a, a nice mellow sound. So the lowest pitch of the drum is in the middle. Then we've got more of a mellow, beautiful tone, Play, bringing your hand out to the edge of the drum. Fingers are close together, yeah? So now let's play that rhythm. So out of the three rhythms, the djembe is probably more complex out of all three. So we're playing bass, tones and slaps. And when we're playing the slap uh, on the edge of the drum, we want our fingers to be slightly apart. And it's kind of like a flicking action with your, with your hand, but this takes, you know, a long time to develop nice and comfortably. So if you can't get it within a week, don't worry, you will eventually get it. So the hand pattern is right, right, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left. So it's really nice and slow. So the first one, bass, tone, tone, bass, slap. Bass, tone, tone, bass, slap. Bass, tone, tone, bass, slap. So let's do that nice and slow. Right, right, left, right. You notice the last note that I play with my left hand is the slap. That's the only place that you play that slap. Bass, Tone, tone, bass, slap, right, right, left, right, left, yeah. So take this one nice and slow. Take your time and play along with the song. Play along to that section where I have just the djembe and a few other instruments that will accompany the djembe and just play it over and over again until you feel really comfortable. So play along to that section.
So for the third rhythm, we're playing four tones, bass, two tones, then a bass. So it's right, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, right, right, left, right. Now this is going on if you're a right-hander. If you're a left-hander, change, change uh, with the other hand. Start with your dominant hand. And that's what I recommend with all of these rhythms, start with your dominant hand. So to make this rhythm ingrained within you, you can always sound out kookaburra sat on a log. Kookaburra sat on a log. So same thing again, go and play this rhythm with the accompaniment rhythms and the play along part. So you can help develop that rhythm and it's just repeating that rhythm over and over again. And that's all it is about learning these rhythms, is just playing them as many times as you can so you don't have to think about it uh, while thinking which hand do I use. So all these rhythms become, over a period of time, become second nature. And it's a great way to start is just with simple universal rhythms that are played with, you know, th throughout the world, all these rhythms. And the beauty of these rhythms is that you don't necessarily have to play them, like for this rhythm here, kookaburra sat on a log. You don't have to play that on the high drum, explore, experiment. That's what music making is all about. Keep delving in to be more curious about rhythm and music. So to help accompany these three simple rhythms, I'm going to be playing uh, these beautiful West African uh, low pitch drum set. And so let's just go over um, what they're called. So the biggest drum of the set is called Dun, and the second one is called Sangban, and the highest pitch out of all of these drums is called Kenkani. So when I was in Africa studying over there, I oh, had a, so much fun playing all these amazing instruments. Um, and this rhythm here that's accompanying the, the other rhythms, the hand drum rhythms, a very simple rhythm from Muribayasa, which is a, a beautiful rhythm from Africa. So it's kind of like a hybrid rhythm from, from Muribayasa. So when it comes to playing with stick drums, so for example, these drums here, so for the low pitch drums, uh, I'm gonna, I like to explore what kind of mallets or sticks can be played to bring out different tones, different timbres from the drum. So for this video, I'm gonna be playing these really cool mallets. They're actually timpani mallets. Um, but it brings out just that warm tones from each of the drum. So with a stick, so for example, this end of the stick will bring out a more of a clacky, high pitch attack. I don't want that. I want it to be more mellow and soothing. So we're in the Caribbean, something like that. Let's go and check it out.
so let's look at different kinds of tempos. Now, uh, we've been practicing with more of a slow tempo, just so you can get the coordination and the feeling of the groove. And just letting you know that there are all kinds of drumming and there's no wrong way or wrong tempo at all. So for example, if you're into more of a meditative experience, want to sit in a zone and just zone out and just feel the rhythm and, it's, and your mind just envelop the vibrations and more meditative experience, then uh, around about 80 beats per minute is, is a great tempo. Now, scientific research has shown that uh, when we play at these particular tempos, it helps slows down our thoughts. And so, hey, you know, that's, I mean, that's what meditation does. And anything to help uh, alleviate any negative thoughts, great. That's why drumming is so good. And then there's a kind of drumming where you want to feel energized and uplifted and, and leave the session with a great smile on your face. And so that's what we're going to look at now. So we're going to bump up the tempo a little bit more to these rhythms and also to help you improve your timing, rhythm, feel uh, is to play along to music. So in this segment, I've included my, one of my play along songs from Energize Your Life album called Gratitude. And you're going to be playing along to that. And this will help rhythmical feel, your timing and coordination as well. So I'm going to introduce the hand drumming, each hand drumming rhythm with the accompaniment dum part, shaker and bell. And then we're going to put it all together and play along to the song called Gratitude. So just letting you know that if you're finding it challenging to keep up with the tempo, don't worry about it. It does take time to build up to uh, physically. All it is is muscle memory. And so just bump it up a little bit more and a little bit more. So if you do find it just a little bit quick, this tempo, just go back to the start and, and continue practice at that tempo. Keep practicing and practicing at different tempos. So now let's go and check out the first rhythm. Let's go.
Okay, so now let's do a recap. Create more musicality, dialogue and rhythmic melody with low pitch drums, medium pitch drums and high pitch drums. Deepen music experience with a variety of drum circle drum pitches. Explore drum pitch. So what resonates with you? Is it a low, medium or high pitch drum? So the roles of the three drum pitches, low, medium and high. So let's look at low pitch roll. The low pitch represents the grandmother, wisdom, leadership, caring, supportive and nurturing. Medium pitch roll connects low pitch rhythms to high pitch rhythms. High pitch roll, opportunity to solo and add flair to the music. Just with three simple hand drum rhythms, you can be really creative. So remember, play slow at first for coordination, feel and groove. Play with backing track to build confidence, timing and feel. Practice, practice, practice and practice even more at different speeds. So at different tempos to gain rhythmical skills. And of course, most of all, have fun. Now, a little gift from me to you. I wanted to help you out as much as I can. I've added some great hand drum and stick drum rhythms in my ebook called Seven Easy Steps to Develop Rhythm, Technique, Timing and Feel. It's filled with lots of rhythms and musical tips for beginners and intermediates to help you take your playing to the next level. This is my gift to you and a wonderful resource that can accompany on your rhythmical journey. So you can grab your copy absolutely free. Just go to positivemusic.com.au forward slash free djembe drumming and download it right there and then. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing to the videos. I'll see you on the next video and take care.